software developer, this video will assist you to create and configure new workspace for your desired application. So let's not hold for a long and start our journey. On the wake of that, I have created one application called Cafeteria Management. And I have linked this application to the GitHub so that you can pull the repository from here. So for this application, I am going to create an workspace. I can directly create workspace from, from this app engine studio by clicking this add button from this experience section. However, I am not going to do that. I will create and configure workspace through service now provided no experience framework called UI Builder. So from the application navigator, search for UI Builder that you could see under the next experience framework. And if you click on this UI Builder item, will open the page. There you could see the list of already created experiences. And from here only you can create your own experience. As I am using Xanadu version, so you could see this create new and under this label you have this experience card. Click on this button create and I will say cafeteria management workspace and here you have to select Deep Apsil. Later we'll discuss about what what the Apsil is. Okay. For now, just select Apsil because we are going to create workspace experience. So you need to select workspace Apsil. It provides you the common component that are header, footer, side navigation. You can see. Let's click on this create button and let's open this experience. So we have this cafeteria management workspace, but if you go to this home page of the service now and if you click on this workspaces menu item, you will not see this cafeteria management workspace to make it visible here all you have to do from the application navigator search for experiences and under this no experience framework you could see experiences click on that will show you the list of records of the experiences Taking time, okay. So the title of our experience is Cafeteria Management Workspace. Let me copy this and search by using this title field. Okay. Let's wait for few seconds so you can see this two related list of this record ux application category m to m and ux page properties so you have to associate the category so let me create this UX application category. We have created this application UX application called Cafeteria Management Workspace and I want to see under this workspace menu items. To do so, what I will do, I will select the category that is workspace. 
nice mm, order is also important based on that your item your workspace menu item will be arranged so let me check one two three one two three four and i will say 500 and let me submit let me go to the home page and let me refresh let me check sometime friends as you could see cafeteria management workspace sometime friends it doesn't appear here so in that case you have to refresh the cache of your instance or you have to log out and log in and now if i will click on this item nothing will be display because we don't have any pages associated with this workspace friends i have this answer by google that is about cell. so here what is an app cell in service now an app cell is a wrapper for an experience page that defines the type of experience being built it provides the general look and feel for an application including the header, footer, navigation menu and content area. And there are two default app cells in the Cubic release, workspace and portal. And just now we have seen that while selecting the category, each app cell has different component and is used for different types of experience. Exactly for workspace here you could see this app cell is used for multitasking such as working on multiple records at once. It includes user menu and tab navigation. But for portal, this app cell is used for focus workflows and wizard flows that don't require multitasking. So the main difference the portal don't require multitasking and because it is a single place for an agent to work with multiple records so it requires multitasking and here it includes user menu breadcrumbs and experience header all i want to say is that it just provides the general look and feel for an application